G'day, Jacob from Make Science Fun here. Thanks for joining me today. Now in a previous episode, I showed you that demonstration that blew you away. Remember that wiggly water drop that appeared still in space? Well, I've had a lot of feedback saying that, that I'm a fraud, that, that there's no way it could have been real, that you know somehow I used like CGI or computer graphics, I was like, like lip syncing or something like that. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself at home. Now all you need, of course, is a $300 strobe, $800 frequency generator, and knock up something like that. What? You, you want to do it cheaper? Hmm, okay, all right, well let's. And you're gonna need a bowl. Yeah, you get it from the kitchen. Make sure you don't make a mess of that drawer. You're gonna need a smartphone. On that smartphone, you've got to download yourself a strobe app. Okay, so you're gonna get a strobe app. You can get them for free on your smartphone. You need another smartphone or an iPad or something like that. And you need to put on a tone generator. Okay, that you can get for free as well. Not the iPad, the app. Then you're gonna need a hot glue gun. Just remember, the hot glue, it's hot. Okay, and it can burn you, don't forget. You're gonna need a paddle pop stick. If you don't know where to buy that from, well, go buy an ice cream. Give it to your little brother, and then get little pat paddle pop stick back. I don't know what other people call them, that's what we call them in Australia. Okay, you're going to need a speaker. Now, what, do you know where to get a speaker from? Out of a TV. Not your own. Well, go to the side of the road and find someone's throw out pile. You know, an old speaker like that, and you can pull out a speaker. So you'll need a speaker. They're, they're everywhere. Okay, find a speaker. You need a hose from the equip from your from your aquarium. Okay, don't forget to put it back, otherwise your fish will cark it. You need a little straw, you know, from one of those little drinks, and it has to have a little wobbly bit on it, like that. Okay, so a little wobbly bit. Um, this will be probably the harder one to get. You need to go from your um, tone generator to a stereo, so that you can amplify the sound to get a louder um, a louder sound to get a bigger volume. Okay. So that's, that will be a bit trickier to get, maybe from an electronic shop. And then you need an old stereo. These also, uh, people throwing them away, you can buy them really, really cheaply, five, ten bucks, um, cheap as anything. So, how do we put all this together? Let me show you. Okay, you also need a little bit of speaker wire, which I forgot to mention earlier. Now, speaker wire consists of two wires, and what you need to do is you need to separate the two wires like so. And then you need to get a wire stripper and pop it in the wire stripper like that and then you expose the copper wire like so. Now I used to use my teeth to do this until uh, I broke off one of my teeth and now I use this. Now that's an episode for, uh, for another story. Take your speaker here and connect one wire up just with a twist like so. Don't worry about the black and the red. It, polarity doesn't matter for a speaker, or well, that's what I think anyway. I'm sure there'll be people who argue with me, but that's okay. They can argue. I don't mind. Okay, once you've got your speaker connected like so, you now need to put it into the um, speaker port at the back of the stereo. Okay. Now that I've got my uh, iPad with the, the generator, notice that it's not very loud. I'm going to connect the mic into the mic hole and then I'm going to turn the power on make sure that's on phono or auxiliary and look at that now the speaker is producing the noise and it's a lot louder than uh, the iPad and look at that look at that you can can you see that movement I think it's actually going to work, you know. I mean, I've never actually built this thing, so I'm just giving it a go. Look at that. Even that's just quite fun playing with. Oh. Almost feels like a bit like a fan. You could actually fan yourself. Ooh. So the next step now is to get the wiggly hose to go up and down like this. So I get my hot glue gun, remember it's hot, and 
I'm just going to put a squirt of glue there on the speaker itself and I'm going to attach the straw just like that. Okay, once the glue has cooled off and gone hard, that straw is really stuck to the uh, speaker. And put a good squirt of glue on the base of the speaker there and put some good glue onto the straw and then the paddle pop stick goes from the goes from the base of the speaker to the straw so that when the speaker goes up and down then the straw will go up and down isn't that amazing oh so amazing work awesome you can do it at home i'm going to just increase the frequency of the strobe light and i've stopped the way unreal if i increase the frequency a little bit i can make it look like it's going backwards i can make it look like it's going forwards if i decrease the frequency i'm going to come and put my finger right here to show that there's actually water there look at that there's water right there in that middle bit. Doesn't look like there is, but there is. Okay, I'm going to uh, turn up the volume a little bit. I'm going to turn up the volume and we'll see what happens. Yes, the nozzle goes up and down more, and so the wave, the wave amplitude gets bigger. I can decrease the volume, and the wave amplitude gets smaller. I'll put it about medium size, and then I'll increase the frequency and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to increase the frequency of the, the nozzle. Oh, wow, look how pretty that is. Oh, now I need to increase the frequency of my strobe to try and stop it. Oh, yes. In fact, it's slightly spirally. This is unreal. You can do it at home and see this for yourself. You are going to love it. Well, first time, you can make one at home yourself. Now, just a little bit of a warning, you know, you've got water, you've got electrical equipment, you know, you've got to watch out for electrocution and that sort of thing, and also your equipment. Um, oh, in fact, I've got a little bit of a leak here. Um, hopefully that won't be a too much of a problem. Um, oh, go!